So the last thing that you'd probably expect me to talk about is ARK. And the reason I'm talking about this is because I saw an incredibly well-made video the other day from Clean Prince Gaming, and he talked about the downfall of ARK. Now, personally, I am not... I've never played ARK, and I've never really been interested in it. But when I saw his video, which I'll have in the description, I highly recommend you check out, it really did, like, it shed some light on things about ARK that I never thought were there. So what did he talk about? Well... I'm going to have the video linked in the description, like I said, but basically to sum it up, he talked about the downward slope of ARK and how it's slowly but surely becoming less popular. And he talked about why he thinks this is happening, and he's he explained it so well, and I will probably never be able to explain it that well. But in this video, I wanted to just take some time to talk about my thoughts on this, because there is a lot to talk about here that I want to provide input on. So the title of Clean Prince Gaming's video on ARK is called ARK Survival Evolved Isn't Just Dying, It's Being Murdered. And what he talks about is that the developers of ARK, which is Wildcard, have been stuffing themselves with so many new stuff. Like, literally, ARK, ARK is still- I consider ARK to be an early access, and it's been an early access for years. It- uh, it quote-unquote fully came out. I still think that it's in the early access stage, even though it quote-unquote again fully came out. But basically, like, they, the developers of ARK, Wildcard, they've been doing so many weird things with ARK that you would never expect from an early access game. Like, they added DLC. Keep that in mind. They added DLC to an early access game. They kept adding all these new characters, all these new, like, mobs to fight, all these new weapons, and all that. And this probably sounds great, okay? An early access game, they're just building upon it. But the problem is that every time they introduce something, they would... Like, ARK is built on a foundation, okay? And just picture it like that. And the more you add to that foundation, the more weight you're putting on the, the bottom line. So... If, like, eventually, if you just keep adding to that, it's gonna collapse. And the problem is that all of these new additions to ARK is causing so many game-breaking bugs that the fan base is just feels betrayed because they paid- now ARK was $30, now it's $60. And I'm not saying ARK's a bad game, I'll get into that at the end. But you when you're paying $60 for a game, you're expecting it to not have as many game-breaking glitches as ARK does. Now, in Wildcard's small credit, they have done some stuff to fix these, but most of the time they just say, okay, we're going to fix it, and then they come out with something new and they never fix the bugs. Which, I don't know what they're thinking. Um, personally, I... It's just so confusing as to why they're doing it, but I'll get into my main thoughts on that, the, on that at the end. So, yeah, Wildcard is literally just stuffing their face with all of these new additions to ARK, but they're not caring about the game in its final state, because as of right now, ARK is... It's not... I'm not gonna say it's a broken mess, because that's a very harsh term. The game's still playable, but there's so many bugs that it ruins the experience for a lot of people. For some people, they can get by it, but for most people, it's it's hard to get past that. So what do I personally think of ARK's downward slope? I think that it really sucks because I, like I said, I haven't played ARK and I've never really been interested in it. But it looks like a fun game and I'm sure a lot of people will enjoy it and are enjoying it. But the fact that ARK has been on a downward slope really sucks because that just... Like, you pay 60 bucks for a game, and you get something that's half-baked, and it's not really getting updated. It's getting updated with new features all the time, which actually, they're already teased. Something about a sequel was teased as well, but, like, the bugs have not been fully ironed out, and that's the problem. You see, like I said, when you have a tower, when you're building a building, you can't just, like, you have to have a foundation, alright? I'm sure a lot of you already know this, but when you keep adding to that foundation, like you do when you're building a house or something, you add beams and support beams and all that just to make sure that the, that the building, the house, whatever it is, is in its final state soon. But the problem is, is that if you keep adding more and more and more and more, 
way past what the foundation was supposed to do, then eventually, because you're adding so much weight to that foundation, eventually the whole thing is just going to collapse. And that's the problem Ark has. Now, another thing that I want to talk about is that when I say Ark is on a downward, downward slope, I mean that it's slowly becoming less and less popular. It's not, it's still a very popular game, but it's not as popular as it was before the final version of this game came out. So it's really weird to think about, about how um, Wildcard is treating this game because it doesn't feel like they're giving it the respect that the fan base thinks it, sh it should deserve, which to be honest, I'm back in the fan base. The game should have all, not all of them, because you can't really iron out all the bugs, but iron out most of the game-breaking glitches. That, that's, that's what should be fixed. But when you're focusing on new DLC, new characters, and all that, I get that it was, and I guess I still consider it in early access, but I get that it was in early access and they're adding more to it. But the point of early access is to let people try out the game. So you'd get their feedback and just like, okay, there's a bug here, there's a bug here, there's a bug here, fix all that. Now, also, if you play the Xbox One version and just basically all the console versions of Ark, it's even worse, which, like, I, people have been yelling at you, Wildcard, this entire time. Why haven't you done anything about it? Again, they're slowly doing things about it, but it's not fast enough. So like I said, I think that this really sucks because I feel like Ark has a ton of potential, but today it's slowly slipping away. Eventually, I what I'm hoping for is that Wildcard will take the steps that they need, whether that be a change of leadership or something like that, to make sure that they can get this game in working order so that they can once again climb back to the top. I'm hoping that there's people at Wildcard that do think that they need to iron out all the glitches instead of focusing on new DLC and a new game and all that. But what I'm worried is that what if every single person in power at Wildcard feels that we need to keep making this another game, a sequel, maybe five more games, more DLC, more, like, more D Tyrannosaurus Rexes r running all over the place. Like, that's the kind of stuff that worries me, because if that's true, then I feel like Ark... Ark's death will be inevitable. Now, what, what in the title of this, you're probably going to be confused because the title of this video is Ark's Ark's down Ark's downfall. I think that's what I'm going to call it. Isn't was inevitable. And personally, I think at the the rate that Wildcard was taking Ark, yes, it was inevitable. But that doesn't mean that they can still change their ways. I'm hoping that they change their ways. I keep hearing about these game-breaking glitches. And all the time, and especially the fact that it bumped up another $30. I know that it technically came out of early access, but no, it's not. I'm sorry. But no, if it has that many bugs, please, just the console versions and the PC versions, fix those. But still... I know that there's going to be a lot of triggered fans. Triggers, haha. I love that meme, triggered. I know there's going to be a lot of fans of uh, Wildcard in the comments who are going to be complaining about this video. And that's perfectly fine. But the problem is that I think what we both can agree on is that we both want good products. And at the current rate Ark is going, it looks like that Ark Survival Evolved is going to become a product that nobody's going to be playing. And that, that should scare the fans because you might want to look for servers and all you're going to find is just inactive places. Some people might like that. And to be honest, I feel like Ark should have been a single player game anyway, in my opinion. That's just how I think I would like it. But hey. So that was a bit of a rant. If you did enjoy this video or if you have your own thoughts on this, please let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. And if you did enjoy this video, then I really appreciate it if you subscribed that so that you can stay up to date with my content. And if you just wanted to like this video to show that you did like it, that's also appreciated as well. Also, if we did enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you shared this video on social media, but it's always up to you. And I'll have my social medias linked in the description. And see you.